Some my OG yogis, my name is Brianna and I'm a yoga educator. Today I'm doing a class designed for campus recreation of the University of North Carolina at Pembroke. This class is going to be a class for lower body. So it's um, working through any tension you may have in the lower body. If you've done leg day or if you need to work through your hips, lower back, all that good stuff. I, uh, <laughs> side note, I went to the gym for the first time ever on Friday as far as doing weights um, because I, I wanted to make sure I had my form right and all that stuff. I actually did it with uh, someone who works at the campus recreation and <sighs> Guys, that's uh, definitely like you feel it after. So this class is designed for working through those sensations. Um, also, if you don't know what OG Yogi means, it's literally just like <laughs> me being um, crunchy and calling it the original gangsters of yoga. Um, well, there's a whole backstory to it. And if you're interested, comment. And I will tell you the backstory to OG Yogi. Um, <laughs> but let's just go ahead and get started. I want us to get started in the easy seat. And what we're going to do in this easy seat is we're going to begin to get centered into the present moment. So by that, I mean, I want you to go ahead, find your hands on your knees, take a deep inhale through the nose and a deeper exhale through the nose. Nice. So as for breathing, I want you to create an ocean sound with the breath. So normally you don't breathe loudly. Oh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I want you to create an ocean sound with the breath. So normally you don't bring. I want you to create an ocean sound with the breath. So normally you don't breathe loudly, but in yoga we breathe as loud as we want to breathe because when we do our ujjayi breath, we are releasing toxins. Now, as far as what you should do. The general rule of thumb for breath work is to inhale for a count of four, three, two, one, and then exhale it out for four, three, two, one. You're kind of constricting the throat here to create an ocean sound to really get into your ocean's breath. Um, it also kind of sounds like Darth Vader. So if you want to go there, you can go there. Um, and then what you do is you go ahead, inhale, shoulders up in the ears, exhale, roll them down and back, engage the core, engage that mula and bana. So what you're doing is you're creating this line of energy. And what this line of energy does is it protects the spine as we're practicing yoga, but it also really allows you to set into the present moment because if you're thinking about your alignment, uh, engaging your core, if you're thinking about your breath work, you're not thinking about anything else. And when we practice that mindfulness, I actually read today that it, helps us um, as far as unlearning any trauma responses that are unhealthy um, and getting past that and getting past any kind of PTSD or anything like that. Super interesting uh, if you're interested in it. I will send it to you. You just gotta let me know. You can connect with me on Instagram about it um, at the naive sage. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead, find that engagement. Go ahead and gently close your eyes. I'm gonna take deep inhales through the nose and deep exhales through the nose. Let the air brush across the back of the throat with each inhale and with each exhale. Go ahead, let the hands either come palms down for grounding or palms up for receiving whatever calls out to you today. I invite you to take it. And then what I want you to do is I just want you to breathe here. So as you're breathing here, what you're going to do is you're going to begin to notice the present moment. You're gonna do this by allowing yourself to just mentally tune into the four corners of the room that you're in, taking a deep inhale through the nose and a deeper exhale. Beautiful. A few more here, deep inhale. Deeper exhale. Three. Two. 
two, last one here, deep inhale, and deeper exhale, nice, and then you're going to mentally bring your awareness even closer, noticing the four corners of the mat that you're on, if you have a yoga mat, or just four points near you, taking a deep inhale through the nose, and a deeper exhale, a few more here, Last one, deep inhale, and deeper exhale. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I don't know how to work these, but I'm trying to make sure it's silent, silent. I have my phone to keep track of time today. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to bring your awareness into the sensations of the body. Just noticing how you're feeling, what you're thinking, where your thoughts are going. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and a deeper exhale. Letting the air brush across the back of the throat. Hmm. And I want you to begin to set an intention for our practice today. Intention setting, just goal setting. So it can be something simple, like increasing mobility, something spiritual, something physical, whatever it is that you want to tune into, I invite you to tune into. If you don't know what to tune into, I always like to cue the intention of tuning into the present moment because it really helps enforce the idea of mindfulness. If you don't know what mindfulness is, um, I have a video on it and I think it'll really help <laughs> if this is, an ex is not explanation enough. What I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and take a deep inhale through that nose for a count of four, three, two, one, exhale it out for four, three, two, one. And then go ahead, gently open those eyes if they're not already open. And we'll begin to go ahead and just gently warm up the body. So I want us to go ahead and we are going to warm up the neck. Just quickly bring that chin to chest, taking a deep inhale here and a deeper exhale. And then go ahead and make sure your shoulders are rolled down and back. Take three more breaths here, deep inhale. <clears throat> Deeper exhale. Two. Our last breath here, I want you to take a deep inhale through the nose. And a deeper exhale. Nice, go ahead and bring it up into center. You're gonna go ahead and bring left ear to left chest or left shoulder. So notice here that you kind of have an elongation. So you're not actually creating a connection. It's kind of like, I say bring it to that shoulder as far as you're bringing it near that shoulder, but you're still engaging and you're not um, bringing the shoulders up. I'm gonna take three breaths here, deep inhale. Deeper exhale. Two. Go ahead and take that last breath here, deep inhale. And deep exhale. Go ahead and bring it across in the chest and then bring right your right shoulder here. Three more here. <clears throat> Two. Last breath, deep inhale through the nose. And deeper exhale, go and cross the chin to chest. Bring it up in the center. And we'll go ahead and make that movement dynamic. Bring chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder, chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder. Just do these semicircles. I invite you to do it for Four more rotations. Nice. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, take a deep inhale, deeper exhale, bring it back up into center. Now, hopefully your neck is feeling warmed up. We're going to go ahead and quickly, 
quickly warm up the spine. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and inhale arms up. Exhale up and over towards the right here. Nice, deep inhale. Deeper exhale. Two more. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale. I'm gonna bring it up. Exhale up and over towards the left this time. Two. Last one, deep inhale. Exhale, bring it back up in the center, and then from here we're going into our child's pose. So child's pose felt really good last night when I did it. I, um, <clears throat> I stayed in it for a while. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out, you're gonna find your tabletop, make sure your wrists and shoulders are lined up, and make sure your knees and hips are lined up. Go and bring big toes together. We're going for more of a hip opening today. And then bring the knees to the wide edges of the mat. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Push it back into your child's. And then you may be as far as you can go just in this child's pose. But if you have more space, you can walk the hands up to the top of the mat. And maybe even bring the forehead down onto the mat here. As we're going to breathe here for 16 breaths. So if your knees are hurting and they need to be cushioned, I invite you to go ahead and get a towel or a blanket. Or you can even roll up the edges of your mat to cushion those knees. got eight more breaths here. <clears throat> okay. breath deep inhale through the nose and deeper exhale nice so from here what I want you to do is we're gonna go into some side body stretches you can bring that right hand to the right of the mat bring that left hand either on top or beside deep inhale and exhale into it center and bring left hand to the left of the mat right hand on top or beside deep inhale exhale into your right side body stretch here
gonna bring it back up in the center. Deep inhale. And exhale, bring it up. Nice. So we're gonna quickly warm up and do a stretch within the shoulders just because shoulder stretches are great for releasing any stress from sitting all day long or any kind of stressors you may have in your life. It's really good to work through those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I want you to extend those arms up beside you. You're gonna go ahead and look. We obviously you're gonna come onto your tummy. <laughs> and then you can find your way onto that tummy. Bring those arms up beside you. Bring your right hand underneath right shoulder. Let the head rest. Bring right heel to right hip. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, open it up into your twisted cross here. So this is a little bit of a hip opener, but if you have really open hips, you don't feel it as much. <clears throat> I want you to take eight more breaths here. Two more deep inhale, deeper exhale, last one deep inhale, and deeper exhale. Go and bring it back into your tummy, just gently. Go and bring both hands underneath both shoulders, both heels to both hips, and one shoulder wipe for the knees to the left and to the right. <clears throat> Okay, from here, you're gonna go to extend those arms up beside you. So I'm gonna bring left hand underneath left shoulder, left heel to left hip, take a deep inhale, and exhale, open it up into that twisted cross on the other side. <clears throat> Eight more breaths here. more deep inhale deeper exhale and last one deep inhale through the nose and deeper exhale bring it back onto your tummy go ahead and bring up both hands underneath both shoulders and let it winter wiper to the left and to the right Nice. Okay, so from here, I want you to go and push it up. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna initially start another really good asana to do from after your legs are super sore. Maybe you were walking for a really long time and they're sore, whatever it is. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna find your malasana. <clears throat> so what you're gonna notice is that I'm putting my feet about hips width distance apart. I'm gonna point my toes out. You're gonna go ahead, inhale the arms up into the air, engage in the core, engage in that mula bandha, take a deep inhale. And then exhale, hands to heart, and squat into your malasana squat. So this is a great hip opener and a great way to uh, play around with some balance as well. Now, if you can't keep your heels grounded and go this slow, go ahead and bring your malasana up to whatever level you're at. Because the most important part is to make sure, honestly, that our chest is up in our malasana. Now you can grab blocks if you need to put a block underneath your dairy air <laughs> to um, really make sure that you're not dumping into the knees. But maybe if you wanna play around with it and make it a little more engaged, you can inhale left heel up, exhale it back down, inhale right heel up, exhale it back down, maybe you wanna inhale one, exhale the other, 
go in the other direction. You want to do both at the same time. <laughs> Whatever you decide to do, I want you to breathe in it for eight more breaths. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale, go ahead and come out of it, point the toes towards the front and find your forward fold. I'm gonna check the camera real quick because I'm afraid there might be glare. Um, I think it's okay. Right? I can't tell. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. <clears throat> From here, what you're going to do is, I call them surfer's lunges. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna widen that stance even more. And you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna bend in that right leg, left heel comes up into the air. Now you can come off the heel on this one if you need to, or maybe you have that heel grounded. It depends. <laughs> it really does depend on your hip mobility. And we're gonna breathe like this for four breaths, deep inhale, deeper exhale. Three. You can point the toe or flex the toe. Two more breaths here, deep inhale, deeper exhale. Last one, deep inhale and exhale. I'm going to bring it across and bend in that left knee this time. Breathing however you are in it, right? Four more breaths here. So I uh, have made new candles. <laughs> Two. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale, go ahead and bend the knees and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a dynamic. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna bring it to a surface lunge on one side and kind of spider it over, surface lunge on the other. This is a really good hip opener. You also feel it in your quads and your calves and your inner thighs everywhere. <laughs> Two, three. Whew. If you have a sticky spot, you're welcome to stay in it. You're gonna go ahead and do this for two more breaths. So do whatever you need to do to even it out. And last one. From here, go ahead and bring it into center and find your wide-legged forward fold. Nice. And then just go ahead and stay here. So maybe here you wanna just gently bend in one knee, extend it, bend in the other, extend it. And you wanna stay just like this. Maybe you wanna grab the ankles, grab the toes, whatever you wanna do here. Staying here. Four more breaths here. this for two more breaths deep inhale deeper exhale and last one deep inhale and deep exhale go and walk it back into forward fold maybe we haven't done forward fold yet today so it's not a back but we're going into forward fold and go ahead and gently bend in the knees releasing tension in the lower back and in the backs of the legs and feel the stretch along the calves, backs of the legs here Put a gentle bend in the knees to release the tension in the lower back and within those legs. So notice it's just a forward fold, but sometimes it's all you need. OK, 
Okay, from here we'll start to make a dynamic. I'm sure to go I connect the hands and the elbow. And windshield wiper. To the left and to the right. So we're letting the body ragdoll to the left and to the right, bending the knees, making it a dynamic movement here. <sighs> nice. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead, heel toe it out, back to hips with distance apart. You're gonna go ahead and bend the knees, bring it up one vertebrae at a time. We're going back into Malasana. You're gonna inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring it into Malasana and notice that maybe you have more space in your Malasana now. You're just doing it for two breaths. Deep inhale, deep breath, exhale. Last one, deep inhale and exhale. So from here, you're gonna go ahead. Just find your way onto your tabletop. Facing back towards the front. I keep looking at my phone to check time. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead. <clears throat> we're gonna go into some hip opening. So I want you to go ahead, step that right leg through. Bring the hands to the hips. Engage the core, engage that mula bana. Deep inhale. Exhale, push it forward into your little lunge here. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. Two. Three. Last breath, deep inhale, and deeper exhale. Going with the hands from that foot, bring that right foot to the outside, bring the hands inside as so you find your way into your fullest variation of lizard lunge. Breathing here for eight breaths. Last one, deep inhale, and deeper exhale. Now what I want you to do is I want you to plant the hands into the earth. I want you to tuck that back leg, engage in that back leg. We're doing something really funky. You're gonna step that left hand into the center and you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna point the toes towards the front and bring it into this side plank variation. But notice that if you breathe into it and let the hips sink down, you're going into a stretch along the IT band. Two more breaths here. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale, go and ground the hand, point the toes back towards the front here. You're gonna go and bring that foot into center. Plant the hands into the earth. You're gonna step it back to your plank pose and step that right leg forward. Now, <clears throat> you're gonna go and find your low lunge. Inhale. Shoulders up into the ears, exhale, roll them down and back. Engage the core, engage that mula bandha, deep inhale. Exhale, push it forward into the hip flexors as we breathe here for four breaths. Three. Two. Last one, deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, nice. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead Bring the hands down, you're gonna bring left foot to the outside of the left hand, deep inhale. Exhale into it. So this is kind of an intermediate level class. If you're stuck anywhere, you need any breakdowns, comment, and I will help you, I promise. Find your fullest variation, and we're gonna breathe here for six more breaths. Last one, deep inhale and deep breath. They're gonna plant the hands into the earth. You're gonna engage in that back leg here. And we're gonna go ahead, step the right hand into the center this time. Toes point towards the left. Left hand inhales up and you're gonna exhale. Just find that supported side plank. Maybe let the hips dip. Two more breaths here, deep inhale, deeper exhale. Last one, deep inhale. 
and exhale, bring it back in the center. You're gonna go ahead and walk that foot into the center, deep inhale, exhale, push it back. Maybe just find your down dog. Nice. <clears throat> From here, you're gonna go ahead and find the knees. And I want us to go ahead and find our way onto our backs. Very nice. I'm always worried about the mic. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take out the mic pack and put it down. <laughs> now, what I want us to do, so I want us to go ahead, find your way onto our backs, and we are gonna do some sequences on the back. So what I want you to do is I want you to first, go ahead and let the hands come down by the hips, and windshield wiper the knees to the left and to the right, opening up that lower back. and breathing, tuning back into our breath, <sighs> tuning back into that intention we set, <sighs> nice, just two more breaths here, deep inhale, deeper exhale, last one, deep inhale, and exhale, now, from here, what I want you to do so I want you to go ahead, hug the knees into the chest and rock the knees to the left and to the right for kind of this, it's another form of a lower back massage. <sighs> and breathing here. Maybe you wanna rock the knees in circles, going forward in one direction. And four in the other. Nice, now from here we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna plant the feet down. So kind of as if you were gonna go into a bridge, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and hook the left heel over that right knee, push that right knee away from you. So this is our reclining pigeon pose. You can stay just like this if you feel a sensation in the, the IT band. So this is kind of the working the other muscle. So lizard will work one part of your thighs and Pigeon works the other part of your thighs. You can stay just like this, or maybe you want to go ahead, wrap the hands around that leg. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring that knee as close to you as possible. Maybe you want to wrap it around the calf. Um, I don't like to wrap it around the calf because I feel like when you're wrapping your hands around that calf, if you're not careful, you're going to put a lot of pressure on that knee, uh, which we try to avoid. Go ahead and make sure you have a flex in that foot and find that stretch. And breathe. Very nice. I want you to go ahead and do it for four more breaths. Three, two, last breath here, deep inhale. Exhale, go ahead and release it. You're gonna go ahead and plant that right foot down, left heel hooks over. Maybe you wanna flex the foot. Push that knee as far away from you as possible. Take a deep inhale and deeper exhale. And then go ahead, if you want to, you can thread the hands around that right leg this time. As you find your reclining pigeon. more breaths here. Three, two, and last breath, deep in now, and exhale, go ahead and release it. From here, I want you to go ahead, another great hip opener is happy baby. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go let the knees come up as close to the elbows as they can. And then you're gonna make two peace lines and you wrap them around those big toes and find your happy baby. Maybe you can grab the outsides of the feet or the insides of the feet. If you don't have a lot of mobility, you may end up kind of hanging out like this and that's fine. Um, just whatever is in your practice. And we're gonna breathe here. Twelve more breaths. Deep inhale, deep exhale, three, two, last one, deep inhale, and deeper exhale, go ahead and release it. Nice. Now, from here, we're gonna go to extend those arms out beside us. I want you to go ahead, bring the knees up, take a deep inhale and exhale, knees up and over towards the right, keeping the left shoulder grounded here for stretching that supine of the back. You can look up or over the left shoulder. Eight more breaths here. Last one, deep inhale, and deeper exhale. Come bring it back up in the center. So we need the right shoulder grounded. Take a deep inhale, exhale, knees over towards the left this time. For a stretch in the supine on the other side. Trying to get a certain sticky spot. Now you're gonna go ahead and stay here for 16. Well, actually, probably 15 breaths. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, deep inhale through the nose. And deeper exhale, bring it back up in the center. And I want you to go ahead and hug the knees into the body one last time. And then you're gonna find your way into Shavasana. 
I'm not going to cue you through Shavasana just because um, I'm not playing any music for Shavasana, so it would kind of be not as uh, empowering, or not as powerful as it could be. But what I want you all to do is I want you to either put on a really relaxing song or put on a timer for 10 minutes, excuse me, or and go ahead and click on my guided shavasana video, which I'll put in the link below, and go through a guided shavasana or any shavasana. The main thing to do when you're practicing shavasana is to make sure you're not holding any tension in the body. So you want to release any tension in between the eyebrows, no tension in the jaw, make sure the tongue is not at the roof of the mouth, and then make sure your body is fully relaxed. So if your body is not relaxed for whatever reason, you can prop your knees up with pillows to release any kind of tension in the lower back. You can prop the knees up if your knees hurting. Um, I do that a lot actually. And then you can turn around and really release into the moment using either a mindfulness meditation or a visualization meditation. As far as mindfulness goes, which is the easier one to do, you just inhale, count one, exhale two, inhale three, Exhale, four. Inhale, five. Counting all the way up to 10 and then simply repeating. Or you can use that visualization meditation, which is where you visualize um, a pretty much a healing light coming from the crown of the head and working its way around the body, healing any pain you have, maybe hanging out in any spots that need a little bit of extra work. Um, whether it's internal or external, and it's entirely up to your discretion. But the light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. And together we bow forward and say namaste. Namaste, you guys. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos. Bye.